Hey, kia ora, talofa. Come and join me. It's great to see you. Hey, now you are my only special guest today, so I thought we could have a look at a game that you can play with lots of different people or just by yourself. Because although you do need people for this game, it's one that you need to practice a lot. Have you ever played knuckle bones before? Or knuckle bones come generally in a pack like this. And there are five of them. Can you see them here? It's a bit clearer when they're outside of the packet. Five metal knuckle bones. They're very cool. In fact, when they're in the packet like this, they are quite cold. <laughs> when you hold them though, the metal warms up. It's wonderful. Okay, so in the packet with the knuckle bones come the instructions. And these are really handy because there's lots of instructions. And unless you're playing with somebody who knows what they're doing, you're gonna need these. Because look at all the different levels that you need to go through. There's lots of them. And one of the really good things about knuckle bones is once you've gone through all these levels, you can start making up your own, create your own games. It's really cool. Have you got knuckle bones? Or well, don't worry if you haven't. If you haven't got knuckle bones, you won't have the instructions, but you can find those on my website. You can download them and then you can play anywhere with anything, so long as those things are about the same size as knuckle bones. And I've got some things here that we could use. Pebbles or stones. You want them around the same size as knuckle bones and about the same weight. Mm, because these guys are quite deceiving. They look small, don't they? but they're not really very light. You have a look at this. Start the scales, here we go. If I was to put a knuckle bone on there, they work out to be about 17, 18 grams each. So that one's 17. Let's just check that they're all the same weight. Oh, that one's 18. 18. Mm, that one's only 16. And this one is 17. So 16, 17, 18 grams. And when you look at stones about the same size, if I grab some stones from here, they're about the same size as knuckle bones. But check out how much they weigh. Only seven grams. Oh, that one's six. Hmm, eight grams. Okay, so that's really too light. They're a good size, but when you start throwing stones like these into the air, they will more often bounce than they will land like this. Hmm, okay. So what we need is stones that are about the same size, but are a little bit heavier. And of all the stones I had in that container, these ones are the best. They're around 11. Hmm. They're all around 11 grams. 16 grams, wow, that's good. It's a little bit thicker, so it might be a bit harder to catch, but we'll give it a go. And let's check that one, 10 grams. We'll give it a go too because that's the thing with knuckle bones. You do a lot of throwing. You cup them in your hand like this at the front and then you toss them into the air. Not too high, you don't want to have them landing on your hand really hard, but you want to try and catch as many as you can on the back of your hand, like that. And then you toss them over again. I'll show you again, you ready? You start with them cupped like this, and then you catch them on the back of your hand. Ready, go. Oh, <laughs> you try and catch more than that. And then you've got to catch them in the palm of your hand again. There. So let's try it with the stones. How do you think they'll do? Well, let's give it a go. Mmm, not bad. The bigger the stone, the harder it could be to catch them on the back of your hand, especially if you've got small hands. This is really interesting though, when you look at it, 
Look how much bigger that stone is, but it's nowhere near as heavy as this little knuckle bone. That means the metal in this knuckle bone is denser than the stone. Maybe that's something that you can investigate with the stones in your backyard. See if you can find some about the size of a knuckle bone, and that's about two centimetres long. So I've worked out by measuring my thumb that that's the top of my thumb, from the tip of my thumb to the first joint. So maybe you could measure your thumb and then you've got a handy little ruler to take with you. And then you need to weigh the stones. Now they don't have to be the 16 odd grams of a knuckle bone, but something with a little bit of weight in it. So we worked out that these were about 10 grams, didn't we? Now if you don't have a set of scales, like these ones here, all you need to do is make yourself a balance scale. Do you remember seeing that on Home Learning TV? Here are some kids just like you who made a balance scale themselves. Pretty cool, eh? So once you've worked out that you've found some stones around the right size and around the right weight, all you have to do is practice. Now, I'm going to practice with these stones here just to show you what it's all about. You're going to need to practice holding them in your hand and then throwing them up about yay high before you catch them on the back of your hand. You ready? Like this. Oh, I caught three, cool. Now you've got to throw them in the air again and catch them back on the palm of your hand. See how high I throw them, you watch. It's not very high at all. The higher you throw them, the more likely they are to bounce when they land on your hand. I'll show you again. So, cut them like this, and then a little throw. All oh, good, another three, and catch them again. That's something to practice. And then the other thing is to choose one of the stones that you caught, I might use this one here, and practice picking up stones, like that. You have to throw your jockey in the air and catch the next one. Okay? Oop, oop. There you go. Now, when you finally get to the stage where you drop something like that, you're out and it's somebody else's turn. But you can find out more about that in this video here. This is the one that I did with Jack. And we'll leave it there for now, and I will come back and show you some more very soon, okay? Go and find some stones. Go and make some knuckle bones. Go and have some fun, and I'll see you, see you later. <laughs> Goodbye, my friend. Remember, if you enjoyed this Susie and Friends clip, like us, subscribe to us, and share us with everyone you know. Have a great week. We'll have another clip for you up next week, okay? And in the meantime, for more information, head to our website, susie.co.nz. You can find out there how you can be a part of the fun. <laughs> See ya.